Hey guys, welcome back. So I have another uh, quick little video today for the speedster here. Um, a little bit more progress on the brake system. I know a while ago you saw me put um, the pedals in. This is the brake pedal and the clutch pedal right here. Uh, and today I'm going to be installing uh, the master cylinder for the brake pedal. So now you can see that it actually moves nicely with a good range of travel there. Um, I made up my own little bracket down there to mount the master cylinder. Um, made the, the linkage for that. So I'm just going to kind of show you how I did that today. So enjoy the video. Okay, so I was trying to like sort of heat this up and then bend this tab out a little bit further away. And then I'd like bend these tabs back straight a little bit to kind of get like a little bit more distance there. Um, but when I was doing that, you can see it kind of like cracked here on the bottom there. So I'm just gonna switch gears and do what I should have done from the beginning. I'm just gonna cut this whole tab off here and then I'll make my own tab exactly as long and positioned where it needs to be and then just weld it to um, this here, which should be just fine. This is cast steel, so it welds really nicely um, and that should work out much better. Okay, so here's that little arm there that I kind of carved out um, a little bit more there to, to fit right around here. So I'll weld it on around there. Um, and I made this to set the distance um, from this point to the actual pivot point here uh, at two and a half inches. And that was based on the amount of travel here that I would need in order to get um, full travel out of the master cylinder. Um, the master cylinder piston has like 1.1 inches of total travel. Um, so based on the amount of um, room I have to move the pedal, um, I, ca I calculated that it would this distance would need to be about 2.3, 2.35 inches in order to get that full travel. Um, so I made this a little bit longer to two and a half inches. Um, that'll ensure that I have a little bit of extra room for error. And um, I made this little tool to kind of help me with that here. Um, just a piece of cardboard, this head of this bolt here fits right into this hole right there. And then this fits right into there. And then that's two and a half inches. And then that lets me know that I have this set at the correct um, distance, just like that. So I'll mock this up. I'll probably tack it on there, double check it then back in, in the frame to make sure it all lines up before I weld this up um, completely. So now what I'm doing here is machining the plate to actually mount the master cylinder to. You can see I'll start out by drilling and boring out the main hole here to locate the master cylinder on. And then I'll drill a couple holes um, for the bolt holes to bolt the cylinder up to it. And then um, cut the profile out on the bandsaw.
Okay, so there is the um, brake pedal in here now with the master cylinder um, bolted into its bracket there that's just sort of tacked into you know the subframe there. And I have it connected right now. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see I have that um, sort of like mopped up linkage there connecting the brake pedal to the master cylinder. All that is is a piece of aluminum here that I made um, to kind of like mock up the shape that that bracket's gonna need to be. So I can make this out of like a nice piece of much more sturdy steel now. And this is the original push rod that came with that master cylinder. And I'll probably try to incorporate this into this piece here. Like I'll, maybe I'll have a, a steel bracket that comes up to here that's threaded into um, this piece here. So that's still like adjustable. If I wanna adjust like the brake pedal at all, it'll make it really easy. And then I just need to make, you know, this little bracket here with a couple nuts on the top to, to hold that in. So once I finished welding up that little linkage and then double checked its fitment with the master cylinder and brake pedal, what I'm doing now here is making a couple gussets that will support the, the tab I made earlier that the master cylinder bolts to. And so here you can see how those slots I cut in those, those gussets there kind of made up with the tabs I made on that original bracket there. And I always like doing things like this when I'm welding together steel parts like that because it creates an actual mechanical fit between the parts so that you're not relying completely on a weld to hold things together. Okay, so here's sort of the final setup I have here. You can see the, that put all the way, but got the brake pedal right here, connected to um, master cylinder right there, welded down on the bracket there, um, and you can see the linkage that I have there. Um, how that presses right into the master cylinder there when you press on the pedal, and I think it turned out quite nicely. Um, as I kind of said before, it does it does hang down a little bit. Of course, it's not ideal to have you know your brake components like that below the frame. And I might try to put some sort of like guard on here or some sort of shield to actually like um, protect that a bit. Um, but there really, really wasn't anywhere else I could I could put it in here. I was very limited with um, the space I had. And you can see it how, how I have that linkage there even like, you know, bend up so that I can raise that master cylinder pretty much as high as I can um, without running into the floor and without having some crazy weird um, linkage on there. Um, but I think it'll work, and it, it's a pretty nice, simple setup there. Um, the the brake pedal does bottom out on the, the cylinder in there, so I know that I have getting maximum travel out of the actual master cylinder. And then, um, and that's pretty much that, yeah. So in the next video, um, you're going to see me make some custom um, brake fluid reservoirs for this. Um, the reservoirs that came with this thing um, are these super ugly plastic things. Um, so, you know, you know that, that, of course that doesn't look very good, right? <laughs> I could try to hide it like in here, but um, no, that's kind of dumb too, because then you can't actually reach it. Um, so I'm gonna make some custom stainless steel um, brake fluid reservoirs, and that's gonna be a fun video. So um, look forward to that next week, and I'll see you then.